What's good everybody? Season 2 Diablo just launched. Today we're about to go over the battle pass that comes with the new season. If you haven't already watched the last video I made on the season 1 battle pass, the battle pass for this season is going to be really similar. Different skins of course, but same rules apply as last season. First tape. Step 1. To open up your battle pass, you open up your, your uh, menu, click on the season. If you're on a uh, keyboard, click U. If you're on controller, I think you click start. But to claim the battle pass, you can see here, Season of Blood, Explore Battle Pass. And since we already have it for the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead and claim it. You have the option to claim it going with the free battle pass. You miss out on nothing with the free battle pass other than cosmetics and extra crap that really don't help you in the game. It's just drip. But uh, you either have free battle pass, premium, which we're going to get in the accelerated, which just like in any game, gives you the option to skip whatever battle pass, you know, tiers that you want. And you also get some emotes. So, you know, purchase at your own risk. For the sake of this video, we're going to cop the middle one, the premium one, for 10 bucks. So as you can see, we already have the coin lined up in our wallet. So we're going in and claim it. Yes. So, Battle Pass activated for Season 2. So, let's start with the Season Journey. So, if you didn't watch the video that I did for Season 1, the Season Journey is just some cool things to keep you engaged with the Season. You have different objectives that you can complete for each tier, and at the end of each tier, or, you know, each objective completion, each chapter completion, you get some cool rewards. Some of these rewards are actually really good, so I definitely recommend you do it. And it's just fun, you know, knocking out missions. It keeps you engaged. So you have all the way to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You knock this out as you're playing the game, or you can focus on it. And something cool about the season journey, you don't have to complete all of the objectives. Uh, they did something nice where they let you have the option of skipping one. So for me, if I don't like doing sellers, I can skip the seller, and I can still have the option to complete this chapter objective, the entire chapter one. So that's cool. So same thing with the last chapter. If I'm too trash to fight Duriel, which is the newest boss that I haven't even seen yet, you can skip that and knock out everything else and complete this chapter. So that's something to take note of. Moving on to the season blessings. Season blessings are bonuses that you get as you level through the battle pass. This is not exclude free. It, it includes every tier of battle pass. So as you work through your battle pass, you get seat smoldering ashes, which you can then put those smoldering ashes to use with your season blessings. So you have XP boost, elixir boost. These are the same from last season. Uh, this is, I think this is new. Uh, let's see. And this is new. Well, three. All right, all three of these are new, actually. So, Urn of Helltide's chance to receive an extra equipment item from Helltide chest, I believe. But well, this may have been here last season. Don't quote me on that. But I know these two are uh, definitely new. You get smoldering ashes by going through your battle pass. So, for instance, you can see here, when we reach level 28, we will get smoldering ashes and then... Once we have the smolder and ashes, we go to our season blessings and we can apply it to whatever one, you know, we want here. Typically, I'm going to apply it to my urn of aggression. Can't go wrong with XP and elixir boost because, again, that in turn revolves around XP. The longer you have the elixir going, more XP you can get. Uh, they also fixed the bug or fixed it to where you don't have to go in here and manually claim the smolder and ashes. These are auto claimed based on what I saw in the patch notes. So last season, you had to go into the battle pass and claim the smolder and ashes so if you're grinding like from 1 to 50 and you forget to claim it you would have like you wouldn't you wouldn't have it you have to go back in here and manually click on it to claim it but they fix it so now it should be automatic and you should be good to go so that's literally the season journey and season blessings in a nutshell and last thing that we're going to go over is the actual battle pass itself so again purchases at your own discretion you get no really no no pay to win options from this. So it's literally purely drip cosmetic related. That is up to you. I bought it for the sake of this video. But again, use your own discretion when choosing the battle pass. There we go. All right. Say it froze on me. So I'm just going to go through and click through all of these. This is actually really nice. I think it's glitched though. It's weird. You can normally inspect, no? There we go. All right. Horse drip goes crazy. Might have to rock that heavily. Get the fucking drip! Uh, you got the top. What is this? A cosmetic staff for source. Little horse mount. Two-handed mace. Druid and bar. 
Is that an emote? Can't save them all? <laughs> oh yeah, this battle pass goes up to 90. I forgot to mention, but this battle pass stops at 90. You don't have to worry about going all the way 100. A cosmetic focus. Again, this is for Source and Necro. The offhand. Smolder and Ashes that I talked about. Again, you get these as you level up. These are not only for paid battle passes. Also includes the free battle pass. So you don't need the battle pass to take part or get the Smolder and Ashes for your season blessings. Uh, sword, Barb, Rogue, Necro. Pants. I did see on Twitter... A lot of people are saying that the battle pass this season is very similar to last season as far as like the skins go. So I'm really interested to see what those look like. Pants. Eh. Town portal. This is a W. A blood portal. It's a W. You get coin. Cosmetic crossbow. A curse it for your title or your profile. Emote. Not too bad. Smoldering Ashes again gives you each goals to unlock these. So in this case, we need to reach level 44 only with your seasonal characters. So if you're grinding an internal character, you do not have access to the new season content. If you don't already know that. Uh, we get a pole arm, chest armor. I mean, it kind of does look similar, but it's not similar. It has a sort of unique feel. But it definitely, I can see why people thought it looked similar, this, this full set. Even though it's kind of glitchy, eh? Is that a shield? It's nice. Uh, Smolder and Ashes again. It reached level 49 with any seasonal character. You got boots. Coin. Two-handed axe. Embellish. Embellish Gekox. Marrow Poignard. Yeah, hopefully I said that right. A mount trophy to match with the armor. That's kind of dope. I skipped over that. No, I didn't. All right, cool. More Smoldering Ashes. Reach level 53. Again, another thing about this season, they made it super easy to level up. According to the notes, it should be 40% easier to reach level 100. So the grind won't be as, you know... I say dry like it was last season, and then we have new bosses for the end game as well. Gone too soon. Do this one of the homies die. Wait, it's only for Druid? Oh, that's only for Druid? Pain. Imagine me playing Druid. Uh, let's see. Cosmetic gloves. Again, that's for the set. Marrow Great Sword. Reach level 55 for these. The boots, coin, embellished staff, only for source, gloves, only for necro, just another corpse. Some of these actually are nice. Smolder and ashes, reach level 58, crossbow. Helmet. I mean, the helmet looks nice, but this. Oh yeah, I also bought a skin. My first skin in Diablo Four. I had to get this one. This one is like too hard. Honor the lost. I respect that. Some of these emotes are really good. Shield. This is tier forty-two. You get coin. Target practice. I'm pretty sure yeah, that's rope. It's not bad. Mount Trophy. I'm not a fan of these. These are like just too, too, too much. I don't know. Uh, headstone for when you die. This isn't too bad either. Tier 47. Smolder and Ashes. Reach level 63. New Town Portal. You got the light one and you got a blood one. The blood one definitely looks harder. But they both look nice. Awoken Marrow. The detail on these are really nice too though. See, that's everything, yeah. Tier 51, another staff only for Druid. Smoldering Ashes, reach level 66. 
Too late. This is resource. It's not bad. Mount trophy. The liquid animation? Okay. More coin. Focus for the offhand. Sorcerer. Smoldering Ashes. Tier 58. Get level 70. Player title, Thirsting. I might have to get that. Boy, be out here thirsty. Awoken Mar Marrow Greaves. Get boots. Again, that's for that full set. Two-handed weapon for Druid and Barb at tier 61. Reach level 72. Two-handed side for Necro, of course. Doesn't look too bad, actually. Coin. Mount Trophy again. I'm not a fan of these tall Mount Trophies. It just throws me off. Cosmetic Bow, tier 66. Coin. Smoldering Ashes. Druid emote, revitalize the red. From the blood grows a tree, real. These emotes are nice. Even though I don't play Druid, but. And the set doesn't look bad. Like the bleed is just, it looks like, this is uh what you call it? Isn't this uh Mommy Lily's, the thing that she woke up from? When she had like the, the wings all around her when she first woke up from the campaign. Uh, let's see, two-handed axe, druid and barb, of course. Tier 72, reach level 76, a new headstone. Ooh, this one is, that's a W. Hat, not a fan of that, but you know. Cosmetic totem for druid. Smoldering Ashes, Title Refined, Emote for Necro, Power Overflowing. <laughs> I like that. Cosmetic Chest Armor. Again, the armor is nice. But what I tell y'all, when I show y'all what I bought, dude, it's a W. Tier 81, we're almost done. Sorcerer and Necro. That's a bar, by the way. Uh, let's see. Smoldering Ashes. Cosmetic Axe for Druid and Barb. Got Coin. A New Town Portal. So, still lighty, but it has the Anarius effect on it. Emo Midair Catch for Barb. Is he about to eat it? Oh! Okay. I would have rather he just bit his head off, but, you know. Still cool. Uh, what the bat do? Let's see, scythe for necro. Tier eighty seven, tier eighty eight, smoldering ashes. The helm. This is not bad, bro. It do kind of look similar, but it don't look similar. And last but not least, tier ninety. Sheesh. Nah, this is hard. This is definitely. So, there we have it. We went through the entire battle pass from tier 1 all the way to tier 90. Tier 90 is definitely something I'm really interested in. Uh, went through the season journey, season blessings. Again, you get smoldering ashes from doing the battle pass, reaching certain goals, reaching certain levels. And then you can apply those smoldering ashes to your season blessings, whatever you want to. Uh, I recommend doing it towards the XP and the elixir boost, but you can do it from anything. Anything that you choose, again, buy the battle pass at your own discretion. Uh, you're not missing out on anything by not buying it. You're just getting cosmetics from it. So at your own discretion, copy it if you want to. That's about it. So hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe as always. Until next time.